Hello game devs, welcome back to another HTML story. So today I will be showing you how to create um, a fall detection whereby you know once your play is falling um so you can fill in some events and actions. So um I'm creating this um, tutorial because um I've had a lot of requests on this lately so um okay so create a new project um platformer Okay, so just delete most of these things. Um, okay, set my player. Here we go, and delete everything else. Okay, here we go. Okay, so um, in creating a fault detection, whereby you know once your player is falling, um, we use the width of this. Let's say four hundred. That's perfect. Position this somewhere around here and create another. Position this somewhere around here. Spread this out a bit. Um, here again. Let's say. Okay, so we just spread this out a bit. Um, okay. Now add one more. So in case you make and create a game just like this, where your player has to jump from platform to platform, and you want to know once your player falls off. Um. Okay. So that's what the fourth um detection is all about. So create a new project sprite. Um. Add an animation. Um. Edit with Pisco. So you can just create any um shape. The um color doesn't matter. So we we'll name this. Fall block and save object name fall underscore block fall block no um behavior okay okay so position this somewhere about here now you need to position this at um a place where you think you'll player is likely to fall um, I would advise to make it really big because some gamers are really funny they can jump off um, at any time so just push on this give it a long width so it's impossible to um, bypass the um, fall block so you have to do it everywhere you think your player is going to fall copy paste same here, we have one here. Here we go, paste, and we have one here. So now we need to fill in some events. Okay, so new scene events, um, add an empty event, add a condition, falling. Sorry, we need to select the hitbox, play hitbox, it's falling, and add a condition. Page box is in collision with um the fall block. Okay, then add an action. So this is where you fill in the action you want in case you want to end the game or restart the scene or you have um, an action which you want to run. This way you fill it in. Um, so we'll just create a restart scene, which is a scene change to scene. Um, new scene okay so this restarts the scene um, I'm just using this you can fill in whichever action you want if you have a menu you can fill in your menu here and run the events of your menu from this point so new scene preview okay so here we go now you can see play jumps or if a player falls here we go, it restarts the scene, sorry about that. It restarts the scene, so this um, helps us know, um, helps the engine know when our player is falling. So here we go, jump, um, jump, so you position this wherever you think your player might fall. Okay, so, there we go, restarts the scene, um, make it really big, so it's impossible to escape. 
Uh, because when someone escapes the fall detection, the game goes, um, the game goes blank. It's just like this. Once your player escapes the fall detection, this is what your game would look like. So you have to make this really big. So new scene. Um, in case you want your fold, you want your play off the screen completely before um the scene restarts. You position that somewhere about here. So it gives enough space for your player to fall off the screen. So here we go. As you can see, our player was completely out of the screen before it took place. In case you are um, creating it on the screen, you also need to add in the um, hide action. So, you see events. Um, here we go. Make this a condition always. So you can use, use the, you can choose to use the always, or you just leave it blank. It still hides the um, object, which will be a full block. So it will hide it. Disability hide okay, so we'll hide this at all RAM, which makes your game look um okay. So here we go, it's on the screen, but the play um the gamer or someone playing your game will not know because it's hidden and once the player is in collision it changes the scene. So this is really good uh in creating games. I've seen this in a lot of games which made you develop. Um okay, so that's how it's done, that's how it's created a fold uh, detection. Thanks for watching.